Hi, and welcome back. We just returned from the museum, so hopefully we're inspired to do some artwork today. Remember, Van Gogh and Monet were both impoverished. That means that you don't have to buy a super expensive paint in order to have something that turns out really great, and we're gonna talk about that right now. First of all, these are some basic non-toxic watercolor paints. These were each a dollar. And as long as you have your three primary colors, that's all that matters. You can make anything. You don't have to use every color that's in here. These are professional brush sets. They were also a dollar each in the same store. If by chance they're sold out of these, you can always go to the ladies' cosmetic department and pick up makeup brushes. I found a couple of them. I'm not exactly sure what this one is for, but I like the angle of it. So my next painting, I'm gonna actually try to use this one in it. Also, while uh, we were there, I use spatulas as well. Um, you don't always have to use a paintbrush to paint. So here's some kind of blotter. I'm actually gonna try this technique on a new painting as well and see how that comes out. I always use bottled water for everything that I paint when it comes to acrylic. I do acrylic as well, but watercolors, I always use bottled water. And for our rinse cup, we don't use very much water, so this is perfect size, unless you're actually removing color off the canvas. Now we're gonna talk about the kits that we can get. If you notice that this looks like a traditional watercolor, this looks more like acrylic and this looks more like oil. That's because I painted them with a watercolor, but I thickened the paint up by adding drops of water and letting it soak in before I mixed it. So it kind of has a texture of clay or a really thick paint. That makes it excellent to spread around with a spatula. So you don't always have to use a paintbrush. And then there's a mixing tray that's included with it. We also have a sketch pad. These are 40 sheets. This is perfect for watercolor. Just because it says sketch paper doesn't mean it can't be used. Also, for the ones that look more like acrylic, we have canvases. These are each a dollar. And they also have, for kids, this is great, they also have little mini two inch sizes too, a three pack for a dollar. So I thought that was great. Now we're gonna talk about frames. I did find a great deal on frames. This was actually, it comes with glass and um, the backdrop. If your painting is a little bit smaller, you can have a border behind it. And this is a two pack. This was a 99 cents and this was $1.98. The great thing about using watercolor instead of oil paints is that it dries quickly and it has the same effect, but you don't have the toxic smell and it's easier to clean up without using more chemicals to get the brushes clean. With all the money that we saved on the museum entrance, we paid for all of these paint supplies, including the picture frames. 